Lesson 7.2a, using equivalent ratios to solve proportions. A proportion is a statement that two ratios or rates are equivalent. One half and five tenths are equivalent ratios. One half is equal to five tenths is a proportion. A proportion is an equation that states two ratios or rates are equal. We can solve problems with proportions that involve an unknown quantity. We find equivalent ratios or equivalent rates to find the unknown quantity. We have one half, and the information we're given is the denominator is a 10. We need to turn this 2 into a 10. We think 2 times some number is equal to 10. Well, that would be 5. Then we multiply the first term by the same number. It's going to give us 5 tenths. If we're given the first term for our equivalent ratio, we think 1 times some number equals 5. That would be a 5. We have to multiply the 2 by the same amount, and we know the denominator is a 10. Sarah and Tala make bracelets. And Sarah makes three bracelets for every five that Tala makes. If Tala makes 30 bracelets, how many bracelets does Sarah make? We have our ratio, three bracelets for every five. So we have three to five for Sarah and Tala. It says Tala makes 30. She's the second term. We think, well, five times some number is 30. That would be five times six, wouldn't it? We have to multiply the 3 by the same number, and, oops, we get an 18. The ratio 3 to 5 is equivalent to the ratio 18 to 30. So if Tala makes 30 bracelets, Sarah is going to make 18. The least common multiple of 5 and 30 is 30. And we write an equivalent ratio for 3 fifths that has 30 as its denominator. Ratios form proportional relationships. If two ratios or rates are in proportion to each other, we'll be able to multiply or divide both terms by the same number to find equivalent ratios or rates. Sarah made three bracelets, Tala made five, if we multiply both terms by 2, we'll get 6 for Sarah and 10 for Tala. If we multiply them both by 3, we'll have 9 for Sarah and 15 for Tala. And if we multiply them both by 4, we'll have 12 twentieths. 3 fifths, 6 tenths, 9 fifteenths, 12 twentieths are in proportion to each other. Do you notice as the first term increases by 3, the second term increases by 4? Five, proportional relationships have a constant rate of change. Alicia is enlarging a picture that is five inches wide and seven inches long. The enlarged picture keeps the same ratio. How long is the enlarged picture if it's 15 inches wide? So our first term is the width five and our second term is the length seven. We think, well, 5 times 3 is equal to 15. We multiply the 7 by the same number. We're going to get a 21. That means the enlarged picture will be 21 inches long. In a proportion, the units must be in the same order in both ratios. If Sarah is the first term, the numerator, if we look at this as a fraction, Sarah has to be the first term for our proportion, our equivalent ratio. And if Tala is the second term, then she needs to be the second term over here. So we're finished with the first part of the lesson. We're going to move on to the second part using unit rates to solve proportions. Have a really nice day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.